right, it's time for some real education. And given how utterly and completely and thoroughly we are prone to seeing public schools not even worrying about school anymore, let's take the Vatican, which is the center of Roman Catholicism for about 1.4 billion Catholics, and let's turn it into something else, because that's what the public schools are doing. Let's look at the oddities of the Vatican this week. So Vatican City, also known as the Vatican City State, is a landlocked and independent city-state located within Rome. The Vatican became independent from Italy as its own separate entity in 1929, and it is a distinct territory under full ownership, exclusive dominion, and sovereign authority and jurisdiction of the Holy See of Rome. It is uh, a diplomatic and spiritual independence with an area of 121 acres. That's all. I would have thought it was much bigger. 121 acres is all that Vatican City is comprised of and a population of 825 people or so. It is the smallest state in the world, both by area and population. So this is kind of an interesting place to begin with. And then we go back and look at some of the oddities of this wonderful little uh, city-state. Go ahead and take a look at the images. This is what's known as the Cabinet of Masks, one of the attractions of the Vatican. The Cabinet of Masks is named for its elaborate mosaic of masks that make up its floor. The mosaics were created from pieces of the Roman Emperor Hadrian's villa in Tivoli. Architect Alexander Dory dedicated one of the Vatican's halls as a museum in 1772. Eight years later, the hall was completely reconstructed by papal architect Michelangelo Simonetti. The hall is filled with elaborate stucco decorations and oversized paintings, but it's the floor, and you can see right there the beauty of that floor. All around the circle there, that statue in the middle, you see these beautiful mosaics taken from literally the marble mosaic tiles from Hadrian's villa. Uh, quite beautiful, and one whole room is dedicated to this in the Vatican. The Vatican, the hall is filled with elaborate stucco decorations to oversized paintings, but it's the floor of the cabinet of masks that is the most famous. However, statues like the magnificent Three Graces are also housed here, so you could walk around this room. You could enter this room. You would never know you were in the largest church in the world. You would never know from the Roman, the, the uh, architecture, the colonnade there. You would not know from the, uh, the pagan subject matter of what's in that Rome. You would think you were in a Greek temple, only one made to look like a Christian church.